All right, guys, so most likely you've seen one of these videos if you're one of our current followers. Now today we're gonna to show you how to make the bottle rack feeder that you see in that video so that you can utilize it for your own goats at home. Now, because we're making this for Nigerian dwarf goats, ours is gonna be kind of close to the ground, but we do make them occasionally for Nubians and they're a little bit taller because it's a taller goat. So feel free to adjust it based off how many goats you have. If you have more goats, make it longer. Or if you have taller goats, make it a little bit taller or shorter goats, make it a little bit shorter. But we're just gonna show you the basics. So the only tools that you really need for this are your skill saw. This is a cordless one. You don't need a cordless one, just any skill saw would work. Of course, you need a drill to put everything together and make the holes in the board and then you'll need to tape measure to make sure it's not too wonky. These boards were just leftover boards from other projects that we've had. We've made a few of these for deer fawn rehabilitators because they like to use these for deer fawn as well but we also make them for friends that have goats or anything like that but these are just some scrap boards that we had laying around that I'm using to make this feeder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay my boards out into the trough position which is the way that I want to screw it in kind of like that right there. And I've spaced this out. This is a two by six board right here, which fixed our Dr. Pepper bottles perfectly. So when we slide those Dr. Pepper bottles in there, the nipple's gonna stick out of the bottom and it's tight enough that it keeps them from wiggling around too much whenever the baby goats are nursing on them. Now, if you were using a larger bottle, you'd wanna change this board to like a two by 10 instead of a two by six. But you can adjust this board without adjusting the size of these two boards right here. All right, and so once you have all three of these screwed in together to make a nice secure frame, you can go ahead and start building the stand, which is actually gonna keep it up off the ground. And again, we just use scrap wood for all these projects. You can use two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights. You can even screw it to a wall or something like that, as long as you can get that angle correct so the babies are happy. All right, and so essentially what you're gonna do is go ahead and get your two side boards that you think are gonna fit, and then you just need to adjust your angle. So if you just imagine when the bottles are sitting in here like this, how they need to be positioned for the baby goats to be able to get to them and so we'll kind of prop it up like that probably that angle is the best there's no specifics the mom goat wouldn't stand a certain way and if you were holding a bottle for a baby you wouldn't hold it a certain way they're going to adjust themselves how they need to and we just kind of eyeball the measurement then i'm going to use my bottle right there to kind of hold it into that position Put my gloves in there this is real high speed stuff guys then i can go ahead and start playing with the angle on this side to get it fixed on there Stand it up once you get that first screw in there and then you can kind of play with the angle really good. So if you tilt it too far back like that, then you're gonna have a lot of milk that doesn't go down to the tip of the nipple. And if you do it too far up like this, then the babies are just gonna have to get all the way up under there to really drink it all. So that right there, probably that 45 degree angle right there is gonna be your best bet. And I like to stand it up on the end at that point in time so that we can make sure we get all of our screws in there and get it nice and secure on top. So there's our first side board right there. Now it is very important that you make sure that the other board is set up the exact same way. I'll go ahead and get my screw started. What I will do sometimes is I'll actually make them crooked. I'm not today, but if I have Nubians and Nigerians, you can make them crooked like this on purpose. And that means that some babies that are smaller, you can put their bottles on one end and then the taller babies put it on the taller end. But we're not doing that today. These are all for many Nubians and Nigerians. They're all about the same size. So if you notice one really important thing is I'm making sure that there's no holes outside of the holes that we put the bottles in, the nipples through. I'm making sure there's no holes in the back that goats can get their hooves stuck in. Baby goats are gonna do everything they can in their power to hurt themselves. So you wanna make sure that there's no holes back here that they can maybe get a hoof stuck in. And so I only screwed in one screw with this other side so that I can adjust it so that it sits perfectly level. So once I get it perfectly level, then I know I can screw in the rest of my screws and not have to deal with a whole bunch of leveling or instruments that I don't really know how to use. So as you see now, we've got the basic infrastructure set up. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some additional support. For this part, all I did was rip a two by six down the center to add some support to the leg so that the babies can't tip it back or forth. And you can use a two by four too. You don't have to rip a two by six, just something to secure the bottom. You don't want the babies to be able to knock it back. When they're hungry and they're all nursing, they can tip it back or they can tip it on themselves really, really easily. And then I'll go on top if I can find another long enough board and put another shelf up here for it, just so that I have a place to set bottles or set my phone or anything like that. While while they're actually drinking. <laughs> All 
All right guys, so we are gonna go ahead and measure for our bottle placement to put the holes in for the nipples to go through to feed the baby goats. So this is 32 inches long. I wanna be able to fit at least uh, probably seven bottles, but we'll just kind of eyeball it here. I could probably do nine in here, but we wanna make sure that they're evenly placed. Each bottle is gonna take up about three inches of space. So probably what I'll do is every three inches, I'm gonna drill a hole. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And so when you drill this in, you can't get the correct angle unless you go from the bottom. This is a one and a half inch drill bit, which fits perfectly with a Pritchard's nipple. And we're gonna try as best as we can to drill them straight through in a straight line. And you want to space it so that your bottle rests against that back wall. So not too close to the two by six in the back. All right guys, so I said that I would give you a measurement. So just uh, for a little bit of detail. So this measurement down here at the bottom is dead center on three inches to the center of the hole. And this is a five and a half or six inch wide board. So just approximately right in the center of the board. And that lets your Pritchard nipple sit down in there just perfectly so that it sticks out of the bottom. And as the baby's nursing, it's not gonna back out of this hole. So you just kind of slide the bottle in there like that. I love that I just got that on video. I love that. I I just torched your entire camera. All right guys, so this is my absolute favorite part. We have recently learned that burning the wood actually seals it and it makes it easy to sanitize so that if milk or anything leaks on it, it doesn't absorb into the wood. So it's an old Japanese method actually and they found wood that's over two and 300 years old that was sealed using this method to build with. And you can paint it if you want to, but this method's a whole lot faster and more fun if you don't blow yourself up. So in the initial phases of teaching the babies to use the racks, what I like to do is put their legs out forward and just put their nose so it's right there on the nipple and then they normally latch pretty well. All right guys, so the bottle feeding went pretty well for the first feeding ever from this rack for these babies. I'm just letting the babies finish up the last little bit that was in the bottles. And hopefully after two or three little feedings from this, these guys will have it down pat and know how to drain the bottles correctly from the bottle rack. But this is a great first start for these babies and it makes it a whole lot easier when you can feed seven at one time instead of one at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all in the next video. Say bye. Bye.